I'm top heavy and can't tuck my tops in. I'm short and I would like to look taller without wearing heels and find clothes that actually fit well. Well, wouldn't we all love to find clothes that actually fit well? Um, so I'm top heavy and can't tuck tops in. So that is fine. So that means you need to look for tops that are, you know, that you don't need to tuck. But it does mean when you have a large bust, it means that the, the, the tops need to be more fitted at the waist. Now, they don't necessarily need to be tightly fitted, but they certainly need to come in at the waist. So you may need to add in extra darts and things like that to bring in the extra fabric after it has gone over your bust, because otherwise it's going to be loose and floppy and it's going to make you look bigger all over. So getting some alterations to get those tops to fit you. Also, if you are short, most tops will be too long for you. Um, and this will actually make you look shorter. So you'll need to probably cut off some length on the bottom of tops and have the bottoms of the tops rehemmed. Now, my recommendation is to always create curved hems on the bottom of any tops. This is always going to make your legs look longer, um, but still give you enough upper body. So we get that balance right. So think about having your tops shortened so that uh, the the front, the, the longest part of that curved hem sits just below your tummy peak and then have the sides come up, you know, two, two or three inches or probably five centimeters or so. Um, five to 10 centimeters difference between the front and the sides. That curved hem is really leg elongating, makes you look taller and also very flattering on the upper body, but allows you to knock tuck in and still look great. But remember, if you've got a large bust, we will probably need to have some side seams brought in, some darts at the back and the front of garments to bring that fabric in or some way of bringing that in um, so that it's not just hanging off you like a sack. Secondly, so do a column of color. So if you're petite and you want to look longer, keep your top and bottom colors the same or very similar. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but similar enough that we don't really notice where one ends and the other begins. This means you will look taller automatically without having to wear heels. Nobody has to wear heels. And for many of us who've got foot issues, heels are not something that is comfortable or desirable to be wearing. So instead, think about that column of color. So that elongating column of color, and then also blend your shoe color to your trouser color. Um, or if you're wearing a skirt or a dress, wear nude shoes, blend your shoe color to your leg color. Uh, another thought is wear dresses. So rather than just wearing, you know, tops and pants, uh, wear dresses because they are a natural column of color. So again, that can be another option for you. Um, so, you know, and also as far as fit goes, when you are not manufacturing standard, which can I tell you that 90% of the population is not manufacturing standard, if not 99% of the population, don't expect things to fit. They are not trying to make clothes that fit you. Uh, what they're trying to do is make clothes that can be put on by the maximum number of people. <laughs> This is means you can get them on your body. They may not necessarily look good. They may not necessarily fit. So this is where alterations need to happen. So whether you learn to alter things yourself or you take, you know, find yourself someone who is a great alterations person um, that you take your clothes to to make those clothes fit for you. You know, you know when you see movie stars and TV stars and you know television programs and everybody's clothes look great on them. You know that every one of those pieces of clothing has actually been altered to fit that movie star. And that movie star probably has a, you know, very easy body to fit on the whole compared to many of us because they tend to be quite slim and all those sorts of things. Yet still, every garment has actually been altered to fit that person. And that's why it looks so great. So this is why we need to think of alterations as part of the cost of any garment um, rather than you know, some extra burden that we are not expecting. And this is where, look, stretch fabrics often allow clothes to fit a little bit more easily than things with no stretch. And this is why, you know, we have embraced stretch apart from the fact that it's very comfortable. But expect things not to fit, expect things to need to be altered, particularly if you do have things like a outsized bust or something, which means you have to go up to fit your bust in, and then you'll need to take that waist in for it to fit really well and potentially the sleeves up as well if you're short. Um, there'll be all sorts of little alterations that need to be done but in the end you'll feel so much better in your clothes, you will look so much better and so therefore that cost is really worth it. Think of it as investment rather than a cost.